This is the most uh, interesting. I don't have anything more interesting on my body than this here, this dot here. Uh, well, I will use this as an example to compare the size so that you get to see basically what this looks like. Uh, I'm not crazy. I know what the fuck I am talking about. Uh, this is the most, the most important uh, cancerous mark on my body. This one here that you see. I don't have anything better than this to demonstrate cancer. Because there is a story behind one. And uh, the story is such that... It's not a story, this is what took place. That I eventually was compelled, raped, into giving a police investigator who met me at a police station in 2022 when I came to inquire about assistance in respect to my father's medical files, General Hospital, which refused to give these medical files so that I would take care, I would care for one at home. I attempted to file guardianship for the father. Um, this was the individual who in 2015, 2014, 2015, could be 2014, insisted, 2014, insisted with the general hospital novel master doctor who examines a younger man a doctor that examines uh, lymphoma cancer skin cancer issues uh, and have insisted me that um, before the event even took place uh, that it would be the best thing for me for uh, for me to get implanted with a cancer and truly this individual from general hospital novo mesto uh, probably a surgeon did something with me afterwards uh, police investigator insisted this that i need this done on me so that i can prove the case so that I can go out there and I can say, well, I do have a cancer, which is actually a death sentence. I did not understood. Um, is it what actually took place? No, I don't think so. Uh, the cancer I already had. And I know so because I had, according to police investigator, dot like this see here, the way it, uh, it grew up four times in a size, also in other parts of the body. He, according to him, he noticed it. They did something to me, so they, they hurt me. Uh, but uh, skin cancer issues are also issues that go way back in time during MKUltra. They were playing with this doesn't go to 2015. And further, the most disgusting thing that happened, and uh, it's why I know exactly about what went on, is that King Charles now, now he's a king, King Charles demanded from me to acknowledge that I don't have any kind of problems, health problems, but that he doesn't know, however, what the police investigator whom I have mentioned and myself have done to myself. Um, in other words, it was Prince Charles who demanded from me to give the authorization to have cancer implanted on my body to the police so that he could use that as an alibi, as an excuse for everything that took place with me in respect to skin cancer play prior to 2015. 
uh, even maybe 2016. Uh, there were American lawmakers even that posted the articles. There were people who did some stuff to remind me even of what the fuck went on. This here was one of the lawmaker, American lawmakers who participated <clears throat> as skin cancer experimentations on me. Uh, this was just one uh, lawmaker. Uh, for the salt water, they demanded from me to get myself to buy my to purchase myself a salt uh, and give myself a salt bath once, uh, twice per week. Uh, something that probably screwed up even the bath tube because they started to play with that kind of stuff and they're not supposed to do that. Then they came up with the idea and demanded from me to purchase a pool for myself where I would prepare myself uh, salty water. Uh, then they proceeded to suggest me the best thing for me to do is just to take um, Carola, I think is, what is it? In Slovenian we say Carola. Okay, that's not good. Um, either a trash bin, literally, listen to me, literally, either literally a trash bin, literally either a trash bin, <clears throat> I don't know how do you how do you say that in Slovenian language because they keep changing Uh, you know that uh, I forgot the, the Slovenian language for me not to recall uh, uh, the second word for Karola. Karola always was in uh, so th this is so idiotic because this is really this language is changing into Samokolnica Varietno. Samokolnica, they call it now Samokolnica. This is a new word. In Slovenian language, it's a samokolnica. There you go. Now we have a samokolnica. Wheelbarrow. It's called a wheelbarrow in English, I suppose. I don't know. Wheelbarrow it is, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, demanded for me to put uh, a PVC, a plastic, inside, vinyl, okay, a vinyl, uh, load one with the water, and mix the water with the salt. And that would solve the dilemma of the salty bats and just lay it into the upper body into it. Uh, or dig a hole and put the vinyl bag in it, and put the top of it a water. They were laughing about it. It was really, really entertaining. And so this politician here that you see, this was just one politician. This lady was just one politician. Uh, she came up with the idea with a baking soda and with a salt water. Oh, well, I am not too damn lucky with this one. 
Mm. This is the article at the Washington Post. They posted in 2015. I saw it. 2015. I saw it earlier today. Uh, because because I had a problem. You know, I had a fucking problem. Uh, let me see that. I have to make sure about this. Very, very, very familiar, but I gotta make sure. She was involved in it. She was, she was absolutely involved in it. Um, but this this American lawmaker this year this is very very important um, I probably can get her here Michelle Flore Republican Not that she not that she experimented on me. No, 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 don't get me wrong, but you had a bunch of people academics You had probably over the course of the years uh, in respect to the skin cancer they play with when it comes to physicians, doctors that will be involved, academics, politicians, and so on, that will participate, watch this, all the hospitals throughout the United States of America and through the greater than Great Britain. Uh, we are talking about probably some... Yeah. Maybe 500 people at least related to the skin cancer issues they were clearly clearly testing to see things for every particular cancer on the consequences that have on on me and they referred to me as somebody because it was the first vladimir putin that were using that was using a tester it's called a tester a person which is very sensitive to a slightest poisoning, slightest poisoning of the food, any kind of poisoning in the food, tester. So the first thing they did is they push it on Russians. It's a Russians, row, row. And then the next thing, the next stage that took place, they were exactly using me as a tester for every cancer, from skin cancer, to lymphoma cancer, intestine cancer, colon cancer, and it was other. It was talk about other issues pertaining also to the cancer, and they were testing food products, uh, all kinds of issues, including the fabric, uh, paint, painting from the fabric uh, that have, in fa uh, that have uh, I mean, this is, this is so disturbing. For me, it's just very, very difficult to explain this stuff. What this lady is talking about, about the soda bicarbona and about um, salt uh, baths, 
uh, it, it, it worked on me. It worked on me. She said, just remember me. Just try to remember me. Are you going to remember me? It worked. It was proven that it worked. That's why she, she, she was sure that she discovered... Listen, she wasn't sure that she discovered America. I was going to say she was sure she discovered America. No, she did not. This is a very intelligent lady. This is not stupid lady by any, any means. She just did the article. It might sound stupid, the article, but it's not stupid in my case because she might have been the case that she did the article deliberately to remind me of this shit here. It's called yeast. This kind of stuff, this beer, this, it's completely non-alcoholic, this stuff. This is non-alcoholic beer. Uh, but in my case, in my case, this beer had proven itself to be totally, totally deadly. Another issue that I have to present in respect to Nurse Yanko from Home for Elderly People, psychiatrist, cops, police investigator, investigators, they told me you're going to have several gloves. We're going to give you several gloves. You better use those gloves best to your abilities. And then they started to insist me, but we're going to break them anyways, and you're not going to fix them. But they, they break absolutely everything. But they destroyed absolutely everything. So fixing things, including and especially they broke before I would even use one single time. I don't know how do you call this in English, but it's called Flike Zakolo. It shows that I did not spend much time in the US. They fuck me up several of these complets, brand new like this. This is to fix the bicycle. What they would do is, I would buy the complet, store one inside a room, you would go and grab the tube and would use the tube to go all over uh, this, uh, whatever you call this here, to fix the tires, flat tires. I mean, disgusting, and absolutely anything I would touch, they would go and they would destroy. As far as the washing machine at home, I am not using one, not because I would not be allowed to, but because I am guilty of destroying absolutely inside of the house, absolutely everything that is destroyed, including things that are 20, 30 years old, whatever fucking years old, and they even destroyed them during MK Ultra. Or would simply fall apart due to its age, whatever. Yeah, that's what my mother does with the screaming and yelling. But it's not a coincidence. It's part of this program. So this police officer who insisted me, literally insisted me, demanded from me to acknowledge this here is something that was implanted in me. Uh, did so because... Maybe it was implanted. Maybe this thing is implanted. I do not know. I don't fucking know. Uh, because he suggested we're going to put you one here so that you will notice it, so that you will see with your own eyes. Some fucking favor, man, because this is the most exposed area of the body uh, when you're doing a hand wash, you know what I mean? It's not exactly the best spot like this, right? Um, but he insisted me they would do this stuff so that it would remind me of the cancer, that they implanted the cancer in me. Um, yeah, you're talking about the General Hospital Novo Mesto, 2014-2015, uh, with individual doctor, physician, probably a surgeon, uh, who claimed me we never met and so on and so forth. Very nice individual appeared to be. Uh, but this is the way they do the stuff. And then the next thing you see is you have King Charles assuring me that there is nothing wrong with my body, that everything is okay, 
but he doesn't know about me and the police investigator what kind of agreement the two of us have made. This is fucking insane. This is fucking insane. I'm just glad that the way I did the website, the whole thing, witnessing, uh, I really, it's, it, isn't it interesting? The last thing that popped up was this shit here. And, you know, I, I don't like seeing it. It's fucked up. Uh, it scares me. But the thing about it is that they, they loaded me with a, such a theory is that what you see here is going to be immediately spread throughout the body because it's already locations and other just like this and so on. The truth is, uh, the truth, folks, the tr truth it is, the truth is that I even stopped washing myself because... Um, when I would go and wash myself, I had a pain all over the skin on my back. It was, it was, it was a, it, it was a, such a funny, strange feeling, pain of my skin on my back. Uh, it, 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 it couldn't be anything other than fucking cancer. I mean, whenever I would go and do this, it was just, it was just, uh, it, it's impossible to even explain. Sorry, folks. But this is like, it makes me feel like I would be touching literally the meat. I, I, it made me feel like I didn't have skin. You know what I mean? That kind of feeling. Which probably is related to the cancer. All through the police insisted me, no, 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 it's just a fungus. It's just a fungus. And they were asking them, well, what about uh, this thing here? And uh, are they changing in the size these things that he has in the back and it's well, yeah yeah they're changing they sometimes they're they are like this and some other times they're like this uh during mk actually they were playing with this this shit it would they would grow and they would get smaller they would grow and they would get smaller and they told them physicians told them they told them and you're saying that he doesn't have a cancer and uh, no, he doesn't have a cancer. No, it's a normal thing. This is a normal thing. The police started to explain physician, American physicians, that no, this, it's a normal thing. You, you don't, it's a normal thing. The way I survived this shit, this ordeal, when it comes to the skin cancer, it's also an interesting one. The way I survived is that I fucking hand washed the, the clothing, literally making sure that there would not be not even one fucking milligram of the soap inside. I would fucking rinse soap out. It, it, very, very, very difficult stuff to do. Extremely, extremely difficult stuff to do. Um, extremely difficult stuff to do because... Um, how the fuck can I say? Um, this shit... You know, a soap, a softener and stuff like this, it sucks itself in a fabric. And so what I would do is I would leave for an hour, two hours inside and wash it and rinse it and rinse it and rinse it and rinse it again. Till it would be like absolutely nothing. And that's the kind of stuff I have used afterwards to put on my body. And instead of taking a showers, what I would do is I would just go and I would break the sweat, meaning that I would go out and exercise, walk and exercise. Uh, I started to do this kind of stuff just now in 2023. Um, once it got really, really bad and if I would go shower, it would just fuck me up. I mean, it's it was too painful i couldn't deal with it no more and i gotta tell you that i mean i can only do this that's all the fuck i can do i like comfort everything i wear is 100 percent cotton and i'm making sure simply that everything is just i did not know i'm gonna land on a fucking stage in my life when i will be actually doing stuff like this this is this is beyond fucking imagination that i would land in my life not even washing myself on a daily basis but this i think that it saved my life i think that if i wouldn't be doing this kind of stuff 
I think I would have been fucking dead. I think that the soap that I washed myself with was uh, absolutely fatal uh, for the cancer issues that I had on my back because they developed them so much that uh, it, it was just enough for me to regularly wash myself and the way I rinse myself is in the same way as, as it applies to, to a clothing. Still, it didn't help me at all. Even removing the soap completely from my body, uh, inside of the pores, the soap still goes inside. And I think that's the detrimental factor. If you do have a skin cancer, I think that's the stuff that kills you the most. I think that's the deadliest stuff. Yeah. So what I did was I survived literally by on uh, just uh, breaking sweat, basically. Don't stink at all. Now, the only thing I would do is I would just go for a walk, exercise, and break the sweat. Once it gets wet, the stuff, I just throw one away and I put the fresh one on. Everything is cotton and everything is super clean. And this is basically, I think, I'm pretty sure it's how I stayed alive. There is a reason that you still see me. They did not count on, on me still doing the program. I think they had a plan on getting rid of me pretty damn fast. It quite screwed them up, I would say. They did not count on this kind of stuff. So King Charles started to tutor me that everything is fine, but he doesn't know about my agreement between that he doesn't know about my agreement or whatever the two of us with this police investigator have done in private in respect to my skin cancer. It doesn't get more rotten than this. Like I said, this people, this people, this is this is not people. This London, this is this is this is a. I don't know. I I I don't understand British people. I don't get you. I don't fucking get you. You're not normal. You people are not 100%. If you do have people like this elected as the kings and queens, you know that you're fucking responsible also for them. And if you have them elected without bearing any kind of responsibility for the stuff they do, then you, you're not fucking normal. So far you had none.